I wanted to come and basically explain the proprietary components to the layer system that we're using on the bridge, just so that when you're watching through the whole footage, you've got a general idea of how the stuff goes together. So the whole system for us is made up of nine proprietary components across the whole structure. It doesn't change. Um, and I just wanted to explain to you that the components and how they go together for a bit of understanding and some information. So this is the main component of the whole suspended system. This is the layer flex beam. Uh, it's 280 milli millimetres deep and approximately two and a half times stronger than a standard alloy lattice beam. So this is where we really gain the, you know, it gives us the benefit and makes us have the, the large standard spacings. So I'm going to go through a couple of the other components just so you've got a, a general idea of the, the, the parts and how they go together. I'm going to start assembling bits and bobs so you can see how it goes in. So the other, next part we've got here is the flex beam spigot or flex beam connector. This is used for joining the beam so it slides in until you've lined the holes up. And we've got the flex beam pins, connectors that, that slide through. And get fixed in the back by securing our pin. So when you're joining the beams together, your next flex beam will join on here. Four pins on each side to secure it. Just take that back out again. Persuasion. The next main part that we use is probably the most important part is the suspension shoe. So the suspension shoe is, slides over the beam, and the same again. When it's in position, the flex beam pin, securing pin, if I get the holes lined up. Goes through, and again, same as other, is the flex beam connector pins. It's just secured with an R pin connector. So the next component is a female standard adapter, which again, slides over the top, links into the shoe. It's hammered through and again secured with an R pin. You'll notice the sticker on this one's different. So, any of the layer components with a white sticker are specially made, so together with Kenny Redman at Layer, we've um, modified this so that the rosette enables the British regulation handrail height to come in. Um, and we had them specially made and um, chipped over for the project. The next part is a standard all-round layer upright slides over and if I have more than one hand there's also pinned in place and that's it And then to allow us to uh, suspend it, swivel wedge head couplers fixed to the standard. And then a standard scaffold tube up onto beam clamps onto the steelwork. And that's just repeated throughout the whole project. So the speed and efficiency for us afterwards is that the flex beam's already got a, a U track for the layer deck or board to fit into. So once the flex beams are in place, the boards just simply all fit in, can be slided out from either side to reduce working on an open edge. You can just work away and slide the boards out until you're fully completed. 
Once the board's in place, the lockable lay low goes on top, tightens down, and that's it. That's your structural beam fully complete, ready for the next one. And we just continue on. Further to that, we've got one extra component that we made, which is, it is another beam connector, a different type. It sits over rather than slides through, so it can be installed after all the standards are installed. And it just simply goes over the top. And again, it's fixed in place with two pins, two R clips. And like I said, these ones can be fitted afterwards because the shoe doesn't have to slide over it. But that's it. That's the nine proprietary components that we've used for the whole project.